This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Hey guys, what's up? Capped here. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a YouTube banner like the one you're seeing on the screen now. Um, so, it looks pretty cool. Um, and uh, I said I would do a tutorial for you guys if this video got over 10 likes, and it's at 12 right now, so thanks for that. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up Photoshop, uh, click File, New. And the dimensions need to be 2560 by 1440. Make sure your measurements are in pixels. And then just click OK. And now just go to Google and type in YouTube banner dimensions. And uh, just this first one, um, you can really use whatever you want. But I know for a fact this first one works very well. Um, so uh, just... Uh, right click with your mouse, click copy image, go into Photoshop and click Control V. And now make a new layer. Make sure your uh, color over here is black. And then either go to the rectangle tool or the marquee tool and just make a selection. Just zoom in to make sure in the right spot. Um, once you got it at the right spot, just click Alt and Backspace. And now that'll fill that in, so then just click Control J, and then holding Shift, just drag it down so it's at the bottom. So now you have the two black bars. Uh, you can merge these two together by selecting both and clicking Control E. And then um, you can just uh, hide the template. Uh, just don't delete it um, in case you just want to reference it. But uh, yeah, so now you basically got this all set up. Now just go back and do little images. And type in wallpaper HD um, and you can do something you can search other things besides that but uh, if you don't really know what you want for the background just do that you can put like black ops or something in the background if you want but um, uh, I'm just gonna use this one so again just copy image control V into Photoshop then just click control T if it doesn't already take up the whole screen and by the corner dragging alt and shift just make it fill up everything and then just click this little check and then it's all set now you're going to want to go to the bottom of the screen and you're going to want to click this little circle with a slash through it and click black and white <laughs> now it'll make it black and white um, just leave it on default you don't really need to change anything exit out of that little screen click that same uh, button and click exposure we're going to turn the exposure down a bit Bring the offset up a bit, gamma correction up a bit. You can just copy my numbers if you're a bit confused. Next, click that same button, go to curves, and you're gonna want to make a bit of an S shape. So uh, bring the top up a bit and bring the bottom down a bit. And now you basically got your background. So uh, just select all of them, click Control G, and there's your background all together. Now you can create a new layer, make sure you're on black fair brush and make sure your harness is down all the way. And at the corner you can just make a little kind of line. And then at the bottom as well, just kind of add cool effect and just turn the opacity down a bit. Around uh, 55, it's good. Then uh, make a new layer, go to white, make sure the hardness is again down all the way and just make a dot in the middle of the screen and then just turn the hardness down on that as I mean the opacity down on that as well uh, so now you got that we're gonna add some cool effects um, so just make a new layer now just go back into Google and type in particles and you can choose any one you want as long as it has a black background so I'm just gonna use this one copy the image control V Control T, hold Alt and Shift by the corner, make it fill up the whole screen, click the check, and then we'll just click screen on the blend mode over here, and then just turn the opacity down quite a bit. So that looks pretty cool. Make the opacity around 50. Now you're gonna wanna search grunge, and uh, you can use any of them. 
if it's a colored one like this one is, uh, just copy, paste it into Photoshop, and uh, Control T, same as everything else, make it big. And uh, to make it black and white, uh, because this is a black and white banner, you're going to want to make it black and white. Unless you do want to have color, but I just suggest making it black and white. And then just click Control U on that layer, and turn the saturation down all the way, just like that, and click OK. And now you have it black and white, so you can just put this on um, overlay, like that, and just turn it down the opacity to around 40. Uh, now uh, you can go back to Google, and you're going to want to type in crinkled paper texture. And choose any of them. I'm just gonna use this one again. If it's a colored one or if like a tan or something, uh, turn the saturation down all the way. But this one is white. I'm just gonna hold Control T, make it the full size. And I'm just gonna do soft light. Just turn the opacity down to around 10. So now you've got uh, your background and it's pretty much done. It looks really cool. So now on, make sure you're on top of these lighting. Make a new layer. Make sure you're on white, you want the text to be white. Go to the text tools, just this T. Click anywhere on the screen. And uh, you can use any font you want. I'm going to use, uh, just go on like the font.com, do something that you like. I'm gonna use this font called Philly Sans Regular. And uh, just type your name, S select it, and you can just make it a bit bigger or smaller, depending. And then to center it, uh, just click Control A to highlight the entire screen. Make sure you are on the Move tool. And up here, just click Center with the ones with the lines through them. And then there you go. Click Control D to deselect. And uh, that looks pretty good. We are going to add some effects to it though. So right click on the layer, click Blending Options. And click drop shadow just like that uh, you can just copy my numbers if you are having a confusion then add a gradient overlay again you can just copy mine you want the opacity just down a good amount and then uh, you can go to inner shadow as well again use around the same numbers I have so then just click OK and now you're pretty much done with the banner if you want you can just add some social media stuff um maybe you want to put like the official channel of or something this is basically the banner um if you want to spice it up maybe get a stock pack and just put some stocks on overlay them and that'll also add some cool effects but for the most part you've pretty much finished this um so uh it looks it's a pretty cool looking banner um really easy to make that's why i decided to do this as my first tutorial um, if you guys want more tutorials, please let me know in the comments section, and also let me know what you want a tutorial on. I'm trying to keep the tutorials Photoshop related, so nothing like YouTube um, stuff, just Photoshop. Um, uh, if you guys uh, use this tutorial to make a banner, uh, you can like tweet it at me. My Twitter is at CapDHay, and um, 